<laughs> you sounded like a horse. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Hey. hey! Welcome to J2. Jackie, Jacob, Jacob, Jackie. And we just wanted to start this video first of all by saying thank you to everybody who has watched Shake It Off this week. It's been amazing and if you haven't seen it yet, we'll put a, a link to it in our description because it's awesome. Share it's it. Hilarious. Like it. Comment on it. It's stuck on 301 plus views, which is a good sign, I think. It'll make you want to shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> Some people have said that this is the most fun they've ever seen at Walmart. You be the judge of it. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this week. This week. Jackie, what are we doing this week? Have you ever seen Saturday Night Live? I believe I have. Oh, okay. Well, have you ever heard of you. Penelope? Wasn't she played by, like, Kristen Wiig? Um, I don't know who was played by Kristen Wiig, but I'm pretty she sure was. she could have played me, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try to out Penelope <laughs> each other. Um, so pretty much what that means is we are going to try to one-up of each other. One-up each other. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we're gonna start with the subject from the news and entertainment kind of stuff. And we're gonna try to one up from there, and whoever can't one up and it makes sense loses. So. So we're never gonna make sense because I just have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's let's do this. Okay. So how are we starting? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that was awesome. Yes. We didn't even plan that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Kay. So here we go. So the first news story that I found today. Um, happened on Wheel of Fortune. Pat Sajak actually walked away from uh, Wheel of Fortune for a little bit because the last what? last entryway, a lot of people have probably seen this on YouTube, um, but someone guessed running with riding brown with brown horses. That wasn't right. There was only an N. That's the only thing they could come up with. And so the next guest, someone said running with white horses, even though there was no more letters on the board. And Pat Sajak had enough and left. So what we're gonna do, Wow. instead, we're gonna out Penelope each other here. Okay. The first round is saying a Penelope thing, like a brag to Pat Sajak about our lives, okay? And Jackie, you're gonna do that first. So like, you know, in the inter introductions, when he's like, Hey, Jackie, uh, you're from Sterling. Uh, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, well, Pat, I pretty much do everything for fun because I'm kind of good at everything. So, like, I play guitar and I know how to sing and I play softball, so. so I kind of do everything, so. Well, um, they named softball after me because I hit the ball so soft, but it went so hard, so they named it after me and, uh. I made the first bat out of a toothpick that I got from the Outback Steakhouse, so, um... <laughs> so, um... Well, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you playing with my hair? <laughs> oh. Well, I made like 12 bats out of the trees in my backyard. That's why one of them's gone, because I made bats and I sold them to Louisville Slugger, so well, they pretty I much I'm working for them now. So. planted those trees, so you want to have those bats without me, so I actually uh, planted all the trees in uh, northeastern Colorado, so... Well, that's funny because I invented the ground, so I kind of put the dirt there and everything, and I do rain dances and I make it rain in the ground so the trees grow, so... So I actually have aunts and uncles who are clouds, they're named Cumulus together, and uh, so that rain dance was to my uncle and aunt, and so you're welcome for yeah, having us your relatives. Yeah, well, so. I'm also your aunt and uncle's mom, so I kind of had your aunt and uncle, so they wouldn't be here without me because I actually had them, so yeah, I actually birthed them like a hundred years ago, so... So... That makes you kind of like my grandma, so you're welcome for having such a great grandson, and uh, I make the sun go round, um, round our earth, so you're welcome for that. Well, you pretty much don't do that because I actually invented the sun as well, so when you walk outside, everything you see, I made. 
myself, all by myself, so really you have nothing to do with it, so... So, I'm the world, actually, so... <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yes. You can't beat me being the world. I think you want to, like, <laughs> how can I beat the, the uh, world? Like, that's chick, the chick. world. Yeah. All right, one point on Jacob's side. Yay, one. Okay, so the next thing, the next story we're going to talk about, um, Kim Kardashian oh. decided to pose, well, pretty much uh, nude for Paper Magazine. Um, so I'm going to start our conversation with is something to do with it. I'm going to start out as Kim Kardashian oh. telling Kanye West why this is such a great idea. Are they friends? Uh, they're married. Oh. <laughs> and have a child. Then I'm assuming they're pretty good <laughs> they're friends. They're best friends. They're the best <laughs> friends. Okay. okay, so you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. So I just thought it was really good because I wanted to like break the internet, but I pretty much am the internet, so that's why it's a good idea, Kanye. I am the internet, so... <laughs> well, Kim, I actually am the internet as well, and actually I invented the internet, and if you Google my name, like, a lot of pictures come up of me too, and I don't have to be in a magazine called Paper, but I invented Paper too, so... Yeah. Um, you might have invented Paper, but I'm on the internet on a magazine called Paper without it being on Paper, so that makes me the best, and I'm actually Bill Gates' uh, daughter, so... I kind of invented everything. I told Bill Gates what to do, so Windows is all me, so. Well, that's fine that Windows is all you because Apple's all me and Apple's actually bigger, so there's iPhones, iPads, iPhones, I already said that. I touch things <laughs> <laughs> on, in my free time, but that's why I'm actually all Apple, because I, 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 so. Uh, well, I touch things too. That's how I got famous, so I don't need an I in front of everything because I'm awesome already. I am awesome, and I am Kim Kardashian, so yeah. Do yeah, you well, I don't really know who you are anyways, except for like the most recent years, and I've heard this Kardashian name, and I never even knew who you were, and the only reason I knew who you were is because your brother was on the Dancing with the Stars show, so, and I pretty much invented that show as well because... I make wood floors and they all dance on the wood floors and then I thought we should have a dancing show and I had your brother on it so that's the only way I knew what Kardashians were so... But um, I invented dancing so there wouldn't be a Dancing with the Stars without me and I invented stars in the sky so you're welcome for that in the galaxies and stuff so yeah. Well, you pretty much didn't invent space because I actually invented space. I actually invented the Milky Way and the candy bar and all the constellations in the sky. And there's actually one named after me, so there's not one named after you. So I don't really know what to tell you. I have a whole galaxy named after me in an alternate universe. So, and they pray to me and they say, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what it means, but I know it's good because they tell me it is, so... Well, I actually know what it means because I actually invented that language, so it actually means, Kim Kardashian, you need to shut your mouth because Jackie's much better than you because I actually am. And by Jackie, I mean Penelope because I don't know who Jackie is, so... But I hear she's pretty cool, so... So, I am Jackie, actually, so... Blah, 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 and you win, so... Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Point for me! Point for you! Uh, that was hard. That one was kind of a hard one. We always end up in, like, space. <laughs> where, like, <laughs> we've invented everything. Yeah, I think that's how you win. <laughs> you have to invent everything. <laughs> invent everything, and okay, I came so here before you. I think for the next round. Okay. No space. No space. No space. Got it. Okay. Because me and you have both won space. now. Space. By space. Okay. So. And inventing things. Have you heard anything a lot, or today that you're like, ooh, that's um, interesting. <laughs> all right. So I think that the next subject we should, should talk about mm -hmm. is if you've ever seen the movie Hocus Pocus. Which I have not. Just Are you serious? Serious. Oh my gosh, we can't be friends. Forget this. The show is now called J1. <laughs> solo. See you later. Going Whoa. solo. Anyway, the witches of Hocus Pocus. Um, 
Um, they said that they would want to do a second one. Mm -hmm. So it's Bette Midler. Mm -hmm. Kathy, uh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, mm -hmm. Najimi, Najimi, whatever, she's from Sister Act. And Sarah Jessica Parker said that they'd be Sarah all Jessica for. Sarah Jessica Parker's Yeah. Oh. <laughs> said that they'd be all for a second Hocus Pocus. Um, but now it's up to Disney. So if they had a second Hocus Pocus, but for some reason they added a fourth witch, and you are the fourth witch? Mm hmm. I. I, I don't know. Okay, I'll start. You're just yeah. the fourth witch. I'll tell you why I should be the fourth witch. Okay, okay. you are auditioning. I, I'm auditioning. In front of the Disney people. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think I should be the fourth witch. <laughs> witch. <laughs> because I, I invented how to say it, and that's how you're actually supposed to say it, is witch. And um, so you should really cast me so I can bring it to life, the character of the witch, because I think the magic that you guys did in Hocus Pocus, the first one wasn't right, so, because I invented magic, so. Well, if you would quit actually inventing things, because you're not supposed to invent things anymore, but that's okay, and like, you've never actually seen the movie, so you don't really know. So actually. I should be the fourth witch and the reason is because I'm really funny and I'm really talented and like I um, Walt Disney is my great uncle so just because of that I should be in the movie and be the fourth witch so yeah well actually um, I don't I haven't seen Hocus Pocus because it's constantly playing in my nose and I can't see inside my nose so I just have a little mini audience always playing in my nose seeing Hocus Pocus sometimes they have little wands and it pokes me in the nose but I say hey that's okay because I'm a nice person um, but so Walt Disney actually came back to life to me in a dream as a ghost and he told me I should be at the fourth witch and if I'm not then he's gonna put a curse on the whole Disney franchise so well that's really weird because the whole movie always plays through my head all the time and there's like little people in my head which is not a surprise to a lot of people right. so it just plays in my head all the time and actually Walt Disney said he doesn't actually know you he said he just met you like just now so and he just told me that because he's one of the voices in my head so I just listen to him all the time along with Dory from Finding Nemo so so Walt Disney's a liar, first of all. Um, I put him on a lie detector machine and he concluded that he was a liar. Maury po Povich told him he was a liar on his show. So, and Maury and me are BFFs because we do a lot of lie detector tests because people are lying all the time, but I never lie. I'm like Abraham Lincoln and George Washington and stuff. Um, so, cause I was actually the first president before George Washington. So yeah. So you were the first president before George Washington, so like when they say like the first president of the United States is George Washington, it's not really, it's Jacob Riz, but I don't believe that at all because I was actually the um, first president, but like 10 times before that, so actually I am technically the first president, and then like the next one was Cuba Gooding Jr., and then like the next one was like Susan Sarandon, and like all these other other people so actually you were like 10th president so I guess that sucks for you is so. Cuba Gooding Jr. still alive and stuff so I haven't seen yeah. him in anything in forever Cuba Gooding Jr. is young so well, obviously he's a junior so he's pretty young because I made up the phrase junior and senior because it got confusing that I'm immortal and I couldn't remember which one was which when people started naming other people their same names oh so are you saying you invented something a long time ago. Oh, weird, because you're not supposed to. I thought we were just saying we weren't the world, or oh, universe, or space. Okay. I thought we weren't inventing things, too. But that's okay. Really Go ahead on rules, your inventions. So. That, that's okay. Go ahead. Because I'm Thomas Edison, actually. I so. love how you're twirling the air, by the way. It's my hair. It's actually invisible hair, that's and not I have your invisible hair. glasses, so. You have invisible everything. Like, your brain is invisible, too, because you've never seen Hocus Pocus, which is why we're auditioning for this show right now. Right. And you're totally not going to get the part because you right. don't even know the show and you're twirling the air and they're going to think you're like totally Hocus like Pocus. messed up. Hocus so. Pocus and stuff, so... Insane. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that was a tie. That was a tie. Alright, so Two that's it. Two points on each side. It ends in a tie. Ah, that was fun. You're welcome.
Weekly Obsessions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Weekly Obsessions. Weekly Obsessions. Booyah. Booyah. Let's say our weekly obsessions at the same time. We could say our weekly obsessions at the same time and tell why there are weekly obsessions at all time. at the same time. Oh. So we say the weekly obsessions and then we're like, <gasps> Okay. Are you ready? Ready. My beanie. And why is it your weekly obsession? It's my Sorry, weekly like obsession walking. because it's, just, it's like, so really cold outside and, so cool and I hate outside. this freaking it's cold like air. He apparently time. likes cold air, but um, I don't but like you know cold what? air. Sometimes and you just sometimes, like the cool air you know, heat it just goes so out the cool. top of your head. And so you have to wear these to keep I your head warm, otherwise I get really so cold. Cool and there's no can, way that I would be walking out at the park right now because it's absolutely freezing. This kid goes and he walks all the time, but whatever. I'm just like totally enjoying my hat. So yeah, that's that's why, Podcast and I actually kind of wear it to bed project. sometimes too, and it's I think really I'm messing cool him really up right now, and he has no idea. That, or to so listen to that, kind of hour and a half, two so, hours, and you just yeah. walk around listening to that. That you is get why like I like my head. Five miles down. Yep. And that's why I like walking. Yeah. So I think that went well. <laughs> so now it's time for hashtags. Oh, hashtags. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you see, how I did that. Ugh. Let's make a hashtag with our arms. <laughs> I forgot how to make a hashtag. Hashtag time! <laughs> Desi went first, too. Huh. Hashtag space is cool. <laughs> I Just watched, because you invented everything? Yeah, so. so. Um, but no, I watched Interstellar a couple of nights ago, and it was amazing. Matthew McConaughey is gonna go for the repeat for Best Actor oh, uh, at I didn't the Oscars even know he this was year. In that. Oh yeah, it's oh, good. Oh, that's cool. And it has so many surprises, and it's just a really good movie, and I think it actually could be the future for us like in 15, 20 years. So, hashtag space is good. <laughs> hashtag space is good? I space think is cool. <laughs> space is cool. Hashtag space is cool. Let's rewind the tape. <laughs> My hashtag is space is cool. Oh, okay. Okay, what's that for? <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right. All right. What's so your hashtag? My hashtag is... Sterling is frigid. It is so dang cold outside that literally when I go outside, my bones hurt. Literally. As long, or as well as everybody else too, I'm sure. Yeah. I don't like this cold weather. When I came home a little bit ago, it was three degrees. It didn't get into double digits today. That's dumb. Hashtag Sterling is frigid. Hashtag space is cool, not frigid. <laughs> so. All right. That's gonna do it. That's it. Like comment, share our video. Like us on Facebook, J2NECO, search that. Follow us on Twitter, at J2NECO, and then subscribe, and we'll be all right. And share, did you say share the video? Yeah, be share it. Share it, share it, share it, share it. Share it, it. and uh, Shake It Off will be in the description if you wanna watch that. And you've got to watch Shake It Off. It's the most fun you can have at Walmart. Share, Anytime. shake it off. Share it up. Share, shake it off. Share it up. Share it up. Share it. It's been real. It's been fun. But that's it. And we're done. Bye. Bye. <laughs>